Man, what an absolutely brutal affair. Jorge Lara defeated uh, Mario Briones in just three rounds. Just took him three rounds, man. Lara is an absolute savage. Um, I've been talking about him for a, a little over a year and a half now. Um, he had absolutely laid waste to Fernando Montiel in the first round last year. Um, here against uh, what well, Mario, or actually was it the second round? Um, you know, I'm forgetting if it was the first. I think it was the second round actually that he he knocked out uh, Montiel. Just absolutely destroyed him. Um, actually, you know what? I think it might have been the first one. It, regardless, uh, it took him three rounds here to take care of business against Mario Briones. Um, dominated the first round with uh, just heavy-handed punches. You know, he's like a James Kirkland-esque fighter. Um, just coming at you with just pure bombs, pure savagery, 24-7, 365. Um, the second round, he dropped uh, Briones on two different occasions. Uh, once with, with a uh, right hook that dropped him, like, you know, kind of on his knees, like, you know, almost uh, kind of catching himself with his gloves. Um, and the other one, uh, hit, catching him with a left cross that dropped uh, Briones on his backside. The third round, however, um, he landed just a flurry of shots, uh, right hooks, uh, left crosses, and just, you know, he followed up with Briones trapped on the ropes, hitting him, snapping his head back like nobody's business. The ref jumped in and stopped the fight uh, midway into the third round. And, I mean, Lotto's a beast, man. I mean, what can I really say about the guy? Um, he's a he highly, heavily avoided fighter at featherweight. Um, I'd put him in there against anybody at featherweight or below. Anybody. Anybody. Uh, Gary Russell Jr., Leo Santa Cruz, Oscar Valdez, anybody. Anybody at 126 and below. This guy is an absolute uh, monster. He's a terrorizer, man. He's he's coming at you with he heavy bombs. Twenty, like I said, twenty four seven, three sixty five. I mean, shit. If uh, if um, Jesse Magdaleno or Guillermo Rigondeau, or Ray Vargas want to move up and take him on, fucking, I'm, I'm sure he'll take it. If you if somebody wants to fight him at one thirty, even, I mean, shit. I think he'll he'll be game for that. Lomachenko, Bruchelt, etc. Um, Corrales. Uh, I mean, th this guy's an absolute monster. Right? I'm a big fan of his. Um, he, he has that mentality like, you know, fuck your reputation, I'm coming up to get mine, and uh, I love that, you know, I love to, to see a fighter that just has that, that just brutal, like, rawness of, like, you know, that, that Mike Tyson, that first, they hear that first bell and they're thinking kill, they're thinking kill, destroy, love that shit, man, but, um, Jorge Lara, uh, brilliant, brilliant victory, and, um, that's all I gotta say about that, man, catch you guys in the next one, peace.